So guys, I'm here with my friend Per. We have known each other for about 15 years, I think, almost. And uh, Per runs a business um, where he works with horses, Swedish work horses. And uh, I have the privilege of joining him today as he is um, doing some work. What are we doing today? Uh, we are going to cut this tree down. We're going to take uh, the horse to draft those trees out. Yeah. I got up very early in the morning and made my way to the farm even before sunrise. I was very excited to get there. I had been planning on filming Pear at his work for a long time, since the beginning of this YouTube channel. And today I got the chance to really watch him do this and visit with him. Hadn't met him in quite a while now. And coming to this farm, it was just so beautiful. The sun was just rising. You had the horses. And I met Pear right as he was preparing um, his chainsaw and the horse and all the equipment for this um, little job that he had today. Är det notsvenskar allihopa? Ja, det här är dotterns ponny i New Forest, men de stora är notsvenskar. Ja. Bort med. Hej på dig. Hej på dig. So the horses go in to the side and you said that they drive backwards, what, yeah. why is that? It's better for them, they prefer to to stand like that. They've done tests when they put the horses in a, uh, in a truck, a big truck. Uh, and if, if they can, they will turn around. Not exactly like, like, like uh, Oh, <laughs> this is the front. Not exactly like like this, but a little bit like this. So they prefer stand like this. That. That's interesting. You don't know the English word for this. <laughs> no. I don't know the English word for it. So the the good thing about it is, is that you can lift the wood up a little bit uh -huh. so it won't be so heavy for for the horse right it's like a like a winch there yeah it's like a winch there so it's not very heavy for yourself yeah either oh nice mm -hmm. it goes a little bit like this so it follow the horse horses mo mo movements so it's very good for the horse as well uh-huh So here he has a mower 
that he um, that actually he says the Amish use in the states. So um, this is an old one, and um, here this is a new one that also works um, pretty much with the same principles. It's parked here right now. Um, would be really fun to come back here in the summer when he actually uses it for hay harvest. So one tree is cut down and you're gonna fell this uh, birch tree here. Yeah. Okay. How long do you think that'll take? Uh, one hour. One hour? Okay. So why, for example, has this customer chosen to use you with a horse instead of a tractor or a machine to drive this out? What are the benefits? Just just when it comes to it's just one, one single tree and this, I mean, uh, the environment will not be very good yeah. <laughs> afterwards yeah. if you take a, a big machine you will not see that I, I've been here right <laughs> right it's very good for the ground and, and all yeah. of that yeah. yeah okay well we are looking forward to seeing your work <laughs> thank you <laughs> While Per is uh, cutting down the tree and cutting it up, getting it ready, Frey, the workhorse, is waiting here patiently for his turn. I think he knows exactly what is waiting. He's 11 years old and has been doing this for quite a while now. Per got him when he was three. Now comes the fun part with the horse, huh? Yes, now comes the fun part. He knows what is waiting. He will come down and he looks at what I'm doing. So, so um, never be in a hurry with a horse. Yeah. If you come to a new place, let him stand there for a while and and, and feel the feel at home. Yeah.
Time, then number two. Come back. Come back. Come back. You haven't been working as much with the horses, and you can tell by how the horse behaves. Mm. Um, wh what what can you notice is different? Uh, he's uh, he's wo he's walking a little bit too fast today, I think, because he's not he's not that trained that he used to be <laughs> when I work every day with him. So, so that is what one one sign. important that you for the horse that you take a break uh, so he just not walk and walk and walk it's not very heavy for yourself but for him that works all the time so this this rest is important otherwise you might have a horse that would be very stressed in this kind of situations so pear just explain to me here how um, just like humans can be right-handed or left-handed um, horses can be too and uh, this horse, he is right-handed, right-handed, so to say. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> even though he doesn't have hand. And you have to to train him to have the equal muscle yeah, muscles yeah, on both yeah. sides. Yeah. Natural that that is not a problem when they are just out <laughs> by themselves. But when we work with them, or when even when we horseback riding or whatever we do, then that uh, right hand or left hand uh, problem will be be a problem. Um, I'm sitting here with um, Per in his beautiful house and I thought I would um, ask him a few questions that you might uh, want to hear and um, I'm very grateful that I got the chance to come here and film you uh, with your work and I can tell that um, 
you really love what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lifestyle. <laughs> it's it, it is a lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like so many of us who who live on smaller farms and grow our own food or mm-hmm. um, work with nature and mm-hmm. horses like that. But yeah, it, it it's not just that you love it, but it, it's also your convictions. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so so um, when when you look at working with the horses in the forest compared to let's say um, even smaller machines, you know, there are smaller machines as an alternative to bigger machines. Mm-hmm. Why, why would you say, um, besides the love to horses and nature, what what is the benefit of working with the horse in the forest instead of smaller machine machines? Mm. <sighs> Uh, it's the environmental part of it. Yeah. There's no Indian. There's no pollution. No loud sounds. Uh, and 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 you, you got a mate to work with all the time. Yeah. Friend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 I saw when you were working, you were very gentle with the horse, mm-hmm. paying attention to the horse, and he the same way. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. what 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 is Pear doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that that is not what you can do with a yeah. tractor or anything. In, instead of cold steel, you have mm-hmm. a, a breathing yeah. being. Yeah. yeah. And 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 uh, for example, we were doing a, a, a job in, in Göteborg some years ago yeah. in the forest. Uh, Göteborg commune wanted us to do uh, a work there, and um, uh, media came, radio came, the mm. newspaper came. They they wanted to, to to see this. Yeah. And the day after, people living around the area they came to, they came to see us. Right. Because we created <laughs> a, an environment. Right. A machine would do the opposite. Yeah, they wouldn't come out and uh, say hello to the tractor or whatever right. it is, <laughs> the machine. Yeah, uh, so it's it's a social factor too. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's it's like it used to be. A, you know, I think you know, kind of this romantic kind of um, agriculture mm. that that used to be a little mm. bit that people still picture. You know, mm. that Astrid Lindgren. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. So, um, how long have you been doing this for? I, I'm not, uh, I'm not born with horses or, or uh, mm. a father that was a farmer or anything. So I started with horses when I was around thirty years old. Mm. I'm uh, forty-four now, mm. so it's, it's not a very long time. But I was very convicted yeah. <laughs> from it, the beginning. Yeah, I wanted this so much. Right. Then I, by that time, I didn't know it was uh, quite difficult. Mm. I just saw when when people were doing it. So I want to do the same, and mm. and um, oh, step by step, mm. I'm 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 here where I am now <laughs> today. Mm. Oh. Yeah. What's your favorite part about working like this? <sighs> uh, working in the forest, I think. Mm. Cutting grass is all to you, you. You see. It. Yeah, it's not just forest work. You do. No, you, do no. you do other jobs as well. You drive on on Christmas markets. In fact, um, you guys know who have fo- been following the channel that I've made two videos of us visiting a local Christmas market where Per has been driving um, around kids and uh, even adults on horses. Yeah, but but um, you also cut hay and stuff. Mm-hmm. Is that you know? I know that farmers today with tractors they don't really use um, that those kind of mowers anymore but um, how, how are those machines um, with for the horse is it very sensitive if you hit a stone or how is it no not very sensitive if you hit a stone yeah I, I guess you've seen this but but when you sit on that machine you you can step on uh, on something that will lift that up Mm. You sit all the time so you can see right. the grass, and that's not the case in, when you sit in a tractor. It's right. maybe far ahead from mm. from the machine that is cutting the grass. Mm. But I'm actually sitting exactly where right. it cuts. You, you can see it. Yeah, yeah. I actually um, one of a, a very sad experience I made um, early on as a farmer was that I cut some hay and I actually killed. A couple um, small deer mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and and um, my grandmother she told me the story of um, um, some horses cutting the hay and they stopped when mm-hmm. there was a deer yeah, that yeah. they wouldn't mm-hmm. go mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that sounds like something really good mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. that sense yeah. that's one 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 more person one more mate that is thinking not right. just your <laughs> your, your thing mm-hmm. yeah and that must be beautiful and um, just doing that. So, so how wide do you cut the grass? Is that uh, with this new machine, two meters. Two meters. Mm. Wow. Mm. 
So that or the other one is one thir- twenty or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that must not be um, too slow compared to, for example, our little tractor. I think we have like a meter. No, it's it's yeah, yeah and, it's, and we can't drive very fast, no, so it's probably no. not much. So you can compare this machine with with a small tractor, absolutely. Yeah. And it uses less fuel. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. You can just stop and the horse. Can, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's great. So um, you also have this little farm. You also have some sheep mm-hmm. and a few chickens. Do you grow your own vegetables as well, or no? N- don't no, have the time? no, not not very much. You, exactly, we don't have the time. Some potatoes, some some carrots, but not very much. Yeah. Uh, no. Hmm. But we are self-sufficient with grass for our for all animal, the animals. Animal animals. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's that's awesome. Um, you, the the breed that you had. Um, is the Nut Svenskin in a previous video where we visited a dairy. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys can check it out here on the channel. But he also drove in the forest with his horses and mm-hmm. he had a Sweden, Ardenna. Swedish Ardenna mm-hmm. horse. Mm-hmm. And you have the Nut Svensk, which North, is... North Swedish. Yeah, yeah North mm-hmm. Swedish horse. It's it's a bit smaller. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what, how would you compare the two? And, and <laughs> you, you explained to me earlier why you chose the Nut Svensk. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, it's... Like, it's, it's yeah. I will not say that one horse is better than the other horse. Yeah. They are individuals, like right. human beings. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in my case, I I had a, an, one a dinner before too, but they are quite much bigger, and you need to feed them quite much more. Mm. Uh, it's more in, more difficult when you have to load load them and go somewhere, especially if you uh, go with two horses. Mm. Um, so that's why I choose. North Swedish horse. They are a little bit smaller. Um, Temperament is the same on or individual. individual <laughs> yeah. From, yeah, from mm. animal. Mm. Yeah. And how old is the breed? Do you know? No, I don't know. But, but it's it it's fairly old. Uh, yeah. I picture the Vikings using those kind of horses. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, but they were smaller by that time. Okay. Um, okay. Mm. They have been bred for size. That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Wow. Yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah, it's it's the the nice thing about this breed com- is that it's in general quite calm compared to like um, warm-blooded mm-hmm. horses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you could you could tell that. Mm-hmm. So you used to do this full time, right? I used to do it full time uh, for some years. Uh, as I yeah. told you, I haven't worked with horses for a very very long time. But uh, I worked as a teacher the school where you were yeah. attended and. Um, uh, then I got the opportunity to to um, educate myself, uh, uh, education for horse drivers. Mm. Um, so I went there for one and a half year, and then I started this company, mm-hmm. Naturnära Hästkraft, and Nature Oriented uh, yeah. Horsepower. Horse powers, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I tried to to do it full time, uh, mainly in the forest, mm-hmm. not only horse driving but also working with us all, mm-hmm. uh, cutting down trees, um, but it was hard to get the economical part to yeah. get together. Yeah, I think that that's something that our viewers would probably want to know, you know, how mm-hmm. would that be economically? So, so why do you think that is that, um, I, I would take it that your customers would be people who would really value the things we've talked about, you know, I don't want to damage the forest, mm-hmm. um, maybe it's a nature reserve mm-hmm. you're working mm-hmm. on, um, you want to, you know, protect the environment, mm. and that obviously has its price, mm. right? Yeah. So, yeah. so you you won't reach out to the common customer. Um, yeah, yeah. You can do some 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 work for for uh, authorities, different kind of, it. and and uh, then the environmental part is so important that uh, the production is not very important. Right. And 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 the, they can pay you for every hour. Mm. But then, when it comes to private customers, of course, they are they they are very uh, keen about their their environment. Yeah. But they are also interested in in the in, money that they get from the forest. Right. So, uh, so yeah. um, it's a balance. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So something re- that was really cool, I thought, was when you moved. You moved with only using your horses and trailers, right? Mm. Yeah. So so you had like. Um, lots of wagons and, and put all your stuff on it and moved it. Was that a big event here in the town or <laughs> did, did people know about that? No, they didn't, but it was in the local paper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, 
they discover it. You, you drove all your furniture, everything with your horses. Yeah. Oh, that's mm -hmm. amazing. So we had by that time we had eight forests and all the forests that could, <laughs> eight horses and all the horses that could go with a wagon did. And my daughter, which she had a, a pony by that time, uh, mm -hmm. a, a Rus, also a Swedish uh, breed. Mm -hmm. uh, and she drove her own room, her bed, and wow. uh, her sofa, and herself. <laughs> that's, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Not many people can say that. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so, um, yeah. I I think this was a really great um, opportunity for the people to see this. It would be great to come back sometime in the mm -hmm. summer, see how the horses cut some hay. You're welcome. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we. I think. We'll see what the people think, um, what they will let us know in the comments. But is there anything else that, that is really close to your heart? Um, because I can tell, you know, not only do you love this, but, but you have convictions. You really burn for this. Um, is there something that you would like to share with all of us? What's the most important aspect of, of this? And, and what you, yeah. I, I like horses and working with horses, but... but uh, the main idea is about this uh, a sustainable future. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so, so um, uh, I don't think we can continue like we we done for many many years. Yeah. So, so that's a the horse is uh, one puzzle bite <laughs> mm. uh, when yeah. it comes to sustainable future. I think. Yeah. And and that's something quite interesting that many um, uh, customers today like commune. Land steers, how do you say that? Yeah, like county and, yeah. and, and cities, mm. and yeah. They are interested in, in this kind of, of uh, work and see, yeah. well, maybe you can do this work instead yeah. of the machine. They also concern about image, and yeah. so they want to. Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. of course. Mm. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, one thing that I've really been promoting on our YouTube channel has been just how the importance of herbivores, of, of um, you know, cattle and sheep and horses animals who just eat grass mm. you do not need to till the ground mm. you don't need to grow uh, wheat or oats mm. Mm. you don't need to produce chicken feed for them no. that that's so amazing that you have this massive animal mm. a horse that can do so much for you and um grass grows everywhere yeah yeah you know even mm. places in northern sweden mm. where mm. you can't grow wheat and and mm. you still have grass yeah and so it's it's a in that sense um, very sustainable, mm, mm. very good. Mm. Yeah. Well, thank you, Per. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm. Um, I think people will really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.